Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's another Friday on FIFA Ultimate Team, and we need to talk about what could be coming today in terms of content in foot. Of course, we're in like this Conmi Bowl, Libertadores, uh, end of the this promo, but they still have the foot player days loading screen up in the game. I don't think we're done with foot player days. I think this is a two-week promo, so I want to talk about that with you guys tonight. I want to talk about th with that with you on this video. I want to take a look through some of the stuff that we saw today in Ultimate Team as well, uh, some of the content that we saw, and then possibly some market movements and what stuff could be coming this weekend, along with Icon Swaps Set 3, because this is this is big, boys. This is the third and final set of Icon Swaps that we're going to be getting this, this year. Uh, and I'm going to take a look at some of the possible Icons that we could be getting and how EA better juice this one, because Icon Swap Set 2 was a big-time letdown. So I hope they really come back and do something sweet with Icon Swap Set 3. So without further ado, let's head over to the webpage for Foot Player Days. And I, I know a lot of you guys might think this is only a one-week promo because of the Kami Bowl Libertadori stuff. Um, but I want to just take you down here to one sentence at the end. And it says, new Icon Swap Set 3. And the fact that they're including this as a part of this webpage for foot 20 player days makes me think that this is going to be a two week promo because if this was going to be its own thing, I don't know if they would include it as a part of this promo. If this Libertadores and foot player days was only a one week promo and then also read this, this is just the beginning of content during foot player days with more to come. So that is another statement that you could read and say, Hey, maybe we have a second week coming of this, which is, I think, What's going to be happening? I think the Comedy Bowl cards are going to be going out of packs uh, now, and then they're going to be doing something else for this next week in FIFA. So I think we kind of had week one with the Comedy Bowl Libertadores, and then the second week is going to be the Foot Player Days on its own, uh, and we'll talk about that a little bit too. This is something I'm not sure on though. You know, buy one, get one free, and coin discount packs. Are we going to have more of those this weekend? Because if we have even more of that, that would result in even more of a market decline on this game where the market is going down already. Icons, special cards, everything in this game is just straight low because people are losing coins, people are losing motivation on this game. Uh, and this might be the second week of this promo could be something that EA uses to try to bring some hype back, right? We're talking possible team of the week, one through 25, repeatable SBCs. Um, you know, heaven forbid that they actually drop the mid icon, which I don't think as many people would be interested in now as before, but they've been dropping good SBCs all week. So I'm really curious to see if we're going to get more of that stuff in week two. I don't know if we're going to get this bonus weekend league player pick again, because I feel like that would have to come out um, tonight when I'm recording this, because last week, last week, this came out before the weekend league started, which the weekend league is going to start here in a couple hours. And I do not see this in here at the moment. I don't see like, a, you know, the foot player days weekend league. So I don't know if they're going to do that again, which it doesn't look like they are, but I hope, hope they do because that was really nice. Uh, foot player days draft token. Is this new? I don't even know if that's new or not, but you can get a draft token through here, which I guess is cool as well. Um, but again, I think this foot player days promo is going to be running for the next week. I think it's going to be another week of this promo. And I do think there's going to be some market movements today. I think we're this, this next week could resemble more of what we had last year uh, for, uh, for player days. And I want to look at this uh, with you guys as well. The foot 19 player days, what we had last year. Of course, we did have the best of informed players. And I think this is the biggest thing that could come today. They could throw some old cards back into packs um, you know, last year we had Informs, Man of the Matches, Hero, and then Europa League and Champions League Team of the Group Stage items, uh, because I do think we're going to see some of those thrown back into packs this week. I think it's very possible. I really think that is possible, and that would be, especially if they're doing best of Informed players and they're doing buy one, get one free packs and half price packs again, that would be some a lot of panic for the market because people would come on again, they would spend more coins on opening packs trying to pack some of these uh, most highly rated players of the best of informed players. And that, those are some of the players that you saw in today's thumbnail, right? The KDB, the Salah, those could be the type of inf informs that we see re-released into packs. So again, this is the biggest question mark about the, about the content coming today. Are we going to see more in regards to uh, foot player days? Are we going to see things come back into packs? Um, are we going to see these packs again? And... 
you know, of course, what's going to happen with Icon Swaps at 3, but that's what I want to talk about next. Icon Swaps set 3. And what I'm showing you guys right here is, um, this is a list of icons. I found this on Twitter. This is a list of icons with a check mark above the cards that have already appeared in Icon Swaps. So, if a card does not have a check mark above it, it is technically available to be in Icon Swaps. The only card in here that you cannot see, it's behind my face cam, is Garincha. So, right beside Carlos Alberto right here is Garincha to his right. So, that's he has not been in Swaps yet. So, what I want to point out to you guys here is, look how many unchecked boxes there are. I think I counted right before I started this video, there were like 45 or 46 different icons in here that have been used in Icon Swap so far. There are 89 different icons in FIFA 20. That means that either they're going to put all these icons in the last set and it's going to be crazy. And they're going to have so many options that you can grind towards and that you can grind to in Icon Swap set 3. Or... A lot of these icons are not going to appear in Icon Swaps, and I think that's the way it's going to be. You know what, boys? After Icon Swap Set 2, I don't have that high of hopes because, again, they gave us a baby Ronaldinho and a baby Vieira and a prime Essien. If you grinded all the way to 23 swaps till the end and you got Essien, that was the best value, in my opinion, from the swaps because... The rest of the swap choices were just absolute trash, especially for it ending right now in the game in the middle of March, where we are right now. The choices that we had in Icon Swap Set 2 were just bad. And we can take a quick glance through these again, just to remind you of this Icon Swaps that were so poor that are now going away. Like, if are any of these cards usable to the upper echelon, the upper tier of players at this point in the game? You know, from a meta standpoint, I know they're icons, I know they're good cards, but you know, this card being like the best value card getting from this from the set at this point in time, it just kind of, you know, an L in my opinion. So, and the fact that we didn't see any moments in this set as well was a, was a bit of a letdown for me because we saw prime icons in the first set and they didn't put moments in the second set. So for whatever reason that was, I do think that we, we have to see moments in this last set. I hope that this last set is completely made up of a few middle cards like elite level middle cards. If you're going to put a middle in, a middle icon, it's got to be Mateus. It's got to be um, maybe a, a Desai middle would be like the lowest tier of a middle card that you would want to see. A Cruyff maybe, a Dalglish, a Garincha. Um, who else would be a middle card that you, you would be okay with? Um, maybe even middle Makalele wouldn't be the worst ever. But, you know, I don't want to see many middles. I want to see mostly primes and moments. And this is what I, you know what, I, boys, I'm going to be honest. I, I don't, I hate to say this, but we're probably only going to see like three or four moments. I would say if we have over five moments icons in this next icon swap, if they're not dropping the rest of these icons in the game, then I would consider that a W. But if we don't, then I don't know what else to say. So hopefully we get a lot of moments in this next set. Hopefully they just drop all of the icons as well. And this right here is the icon swap token. It was released today, so this is what the token is going to look like. Not as many people care about that, but these are the cards you're going to be submitting for whoever is released as a part of Icon Swap Set 3. And I don't really want to look at any predictions because of this. I just wanted to show you guys the full list and the full set of players that we could be getting today. Stoikov, man. Drop me a Stoikov, okay? Prime Stoikov at the very least. Drop me one of those. Pele, if Pele, if Ronaldo, R9 Ronaldo, if Henri, Hullet, Eusebio, Cruyff, if any of those guys get in, you know that's going to be one of the most popular choices to get from that icon swap. So just keep your eyes open and see what happens today. My expectations are not that high because, again, this is as what EA has said in their icon pitch notes earlier in the year. This is the last set of icon swaps that we are going to be getting for FIFA 20. So this might, ser seriously, this might last for the rest of the game. This icon swap set three might last for the rest of the game. Uh, I hopefully that it ends earlier because I mean, what, we're in March right now. So this is going to last us six months. I don't know, man. I hope, hopefully they don't make it like super, super hard to grind and get because I'd rather just use other cards in this game for the next couple of months instead of trying to grind for more of these icons. But what does this mean for the market? Well, you might see some icons start to dip down in price, right? Has Michael Owen been in swaps yet? He's one player that comes to mind. 
Where's Michael Owen in this list? Michael Owen. Does he, has he had a swaps? He has. So Michael Owen will not be in swaps. But let's say like Garincha, right? Let's say Garincha. This card is one of the newest icons, and they've been putting a lot of the new icons in swaps. All but Zidane, Rush, Dalglish, Carlos Alberto, and Garincha have been input into icon swaps this year. So I would expect to see a Carlos Alberto, uh, maybe the middle Carlos Alberto, and then I think we might see Garincha in swaps as well. So if you see a card that does get into swaps, if that card looks very easily attainable, you will probably see some panic on the market and possibly some selling of that card. Would I expect a rebound? I wouldn't like bank on a rebound for those cards. These are icons, especially if they're going to make swaps really easy, easy, which I doubt they will. But it's just really hard to know the outcomes of this until we actually see the swaps. And then we'll be able to talk about that more afterwards. But I do think you'll see a little bit of a downturn on some of the icons because there's going to be people that are going to look to try to attain a moments card and they're going to be maybe selling some cards because they think that once they get the icon swaps, they could drop, which yes, yeah, some cards, when they do get into icon swaps, they have a little bit less demand than they had before. So that's just something to think about today. Something to keep an eye out for. I don't think you see a crazy amount of panic selling though on these icons as we head into today. But I want to talk a little bit more about the market in general and what we could see again with some of the informs. This is something that I'm I'm mostly interested in, right? If they put best of cards back into packs, which I think is a possibility because right now we're at a tough spot of FIFA, especially with the coronavirus stuff going on. There is no like actual football being played. Champions League not being played. League games not being played. So we're like informs and stuff like EA tweeted this out today. EA tweeted out that we are going to continue monitoring the situation with the ongoing worldwide situation. Uh, we're cur currently planning to proceed with Team of the Week 27 based on the fixtures that take place this weekend. Well, from what I know right now, there's not going to be a lot of leagues that are playing this weekend. And I know there's more and more coming out that are saying no more games are going to be played for the foreseeable future. So I don't know what EA is going to be doing for content. This is like, this is throws a wrench into EA's plans, dude. Because they just can't, you know, pick, okay, Bundesliga player here, Prem player, Prem player, La Liga. They can't do that anymore because those leagues are shut down because of the virus. So just be, you know, I'm really curious to see what happens this week on foot. If they do something for team of the week, boys, they could do something crazy and re-release cards for the team of the week. You never know, right? And that would be kind of an EA thing to do because of course they're still trying to make money during this promo. They know that maybe people are inside um, more because of the fact that schools are closed, people are home from work, things are canceled, sports are canceled, right? So they might know that, hey, this might be an opportunity for us. And that could influence some of the content that they put into FIFA. Just not really thinking that's the thing that could happen, but just kind of thinking of a possible scenario and how EA is. EA likes to get the bag, you know? That's how EA runs it. But just be careful of panic selling today. Um, I'm going to be getting full liquid before the promo comes today. I mean, I have like an icon I'm trying to flip right now. I still have some high rated investments that I got at a low enough price that I don't mind holding on to those. But if you have really high rated informs, I do think you might see a little bit of a sell off this morning. The market is low as it is. Um, but maybe, you know, like this 94 KDB, he would be a prime person that could be re-released back into packs um, just because of best of team of the week that could be happening this weekend with foot player days in the second week. So that's something just to be very careful of. If you do see some panic selling this morning, just be careful. They usually don't drop massive SBCs on the first day. So you shouldn't see, if you see panic, uh, it should rebound into the night, right? Because, you know, people are, there's probably going to be a decent amount of people playing weekend league again this weekend because so many people played last weekend, right? And maybe they're like, yo, I kind of enjoyed that or for whatever reason, or they got good pulls from their rewards. So EA might draw them back in. Or just the fact that you have 2,000 weekend league points available right here makes some people want to play weekend league, right? They see that and they're like, yo, I'm in weekend league. I got to play. That's my chance to get rewards and stuff. So I still think you'll have a large amount of people playing weekend league this weekend, because of that, what happened last week with the player picks, there's just more people. Now, last weekend could make people uh, used to playing weekly. Like They just kind of make it part of their routine for the next couple of weeks until it ticks them off enough that they don't want to play. You know, Stuff like that could be happening. But if I was you and you've got some informs, uh, if you're scared that stuff could be coming, especially if you have a really high rated inform, again, like one of those Messies, maybe uh, like a De Bruyne, maybe uh, like a... 
who else could be in like a Cristiano Ronaldo, um, especially if they throw in some like team of the group stage cards, they throw like, they throw basically the best version of some of the highest rated players in the game. So of course, like that De Bruyne, like if they threw in a Salah, that could be somebody they put in is the striker Salah card, which I think is like 600 something thousand coins at the moment. 600 and something K is this Salah? Is that right? Yeah, boom. 658K for the Salah. If you do see him get re-released back into packs, I wouldn't be surprised if he drops to like 500K flat. You know, those are the types of things that you could see today. But again, we just don't know yet until we get some more information. So we'll wait until the 6 p.m. content. If I were you guys, just get your coins, get liquid, unless you still have high rated investments, you can continue to hold on to those because we should also see Premier League player of the month today. Now, I don't know if the virus has anything to affect with that, but usually on Fridays is when we see Premier League Player of the Month. So that's the last thing I want to say. Early this morning, mid-morning UK time, uh, early morning for me, you should be seeing the Premier League Player of the Month, hopefully Bruno Fernandes, which is in my opinion, who would bring the most hype to FIFA. That should be coming to foot today as well. And then last thing is, I think, how long is this Copa Libertadores SBC out for? We got a guaranteed Copa Libertadores trade um repeatable so this is out for one day 15 hours so this is out after these cards technically go out of packs just keep an eye on this you know if you can try this a couple times if you want to right i'm gonna try this a couple times see if i can hit myself like a tevez a salvio or a lisandro lopez just for fun um but you will probably see the cope the libertadores players i do think that they'll rise a little bit in price going out of packs because i think a lot of them right now are um they're, they're basically, they're inflated. Like the cheapest ones, like 20,000 coins. Is that right? Like this Bangero is one of the cheapest, the, like cheapest ones right now. Is this the guy, Danovas Bangero? Is this the one? It looks like this is the guy. So he's like 20,000 coins showing as one of the cheapest on Footbin. Yeah, 21K for this card. Uh, actually, some of them are like 18,000 coins and they're all 84 rated or above. So these cards are up in price a little bit today because they are required for that SBC. And I do think that they would go higher out of packs just because they're not going to be in packs and getting packed. Like this one right here, somebody bought it, listed it up. Um, and I don't think you're going to be seeing these cards enter the market as much and there's prices could go up. So not really an investment opportunity, but just saying if you have hold, held on to these uh, and invested in them for this SBC that came out, uh, you could still hold them because I think they're going to go up a little bit in price. So that's another thing I could, I do think we could see this weekend. Probably, you know, it's a Friday, right? So we always have a, like a player SBC on Friday and a new objective. If we have something cool, I'm just, I'm really curious to see what they do this weekend, man. I'm really curious to see what they do in the next couple of days with the content. We've been getting good players and we've been getting decent content. So hopefully icon swaps is big. Hopefully foot player days is cool as well. And we will see what happens on this Friday in FIFA Ultimate Team. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.